anyone who has never made a mistake has never tried anything new. So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Our lesson is about interpret measure cell position and group data. In example number one, seven Chinese dumplings are chosen from each of the two brands X and Y. The weight of each dumpling is measured and the results are given below. So brand X and brand Y weight of the dumplings. So let us identify the interquartile range of the weights. So let us proceed to brand X. Let us arrange smallest to largest. So the smallest grams that is 15.5, next is 15.7, 15.9, 16.2, 16.4, 16.5, and then 16.6. So if we count, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it means the middle is on the fourth. So this is the quartile 2. So the quartile 2 is 16.2. From here up to here, the middle that is 15.7, that is the quartile 1. And then from here up to here, 16.5, that is the quartile 3. So the lower quartile, that is 15.7. And then the upper quartile, that is 16.5. Let us identify the interquartile range. So that is 16.5 minus 15.7. So the answer is equal to 0 0.80 grams. Next, let us arrange for brand Y. So smallest to largest grams. So first, we need to write 13.2. 13.2 2 again. 13.6. 13.8. 14.1. 14.5. 14.6. 14.7. 14.8. 14.9, and then 14.3. So if we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so it means the middle, that is 13.8, it means quartile 2, that is 13.8. Between here to here, the middle, that is 13.2, so that is the quartile 1. From here up to here, the middle, that is the quartile 3, so that is 14.2. Let us identify the interquartile range. So that is 14.2 minus 13.2. The answer is equal to 1. 1 1.0 or 1 grams. So let us interpret now which brand of Chinese dumplings is more consistent in weight. Since interquartile range of the brand Y is greater than the brand X, based on the interquartile range, the interquartile of the weights of the Chinese dumplings, brand X is more consistent in weight. In example number two, let us determine the third quartile, the Q sub 3, for the following data representing the height in centimeters from smallest uh, height to largest height of 11 high school students. So the formula for the quartile, that is Q sub K class, it is equal to K times N plus 1 over 4. The value for K, that is equal to 3. So Q sub 3, it is equal to 3 times the value of N, that is 11. Let us replace plus 1 over 4. So copy 3, 11 plus 1 is 12. And then copy the denominator 4. 3 times 12, that is 36 over if we divide 36 divided by 4, the Q sub 3 class, it is equal to 9. It means the position is on the 9. And the 9 position, that is 154. So it means the Q sub 3, that is equal to 154. Or the third quartile, that is equal to 154. So Q sub 3, how we interpret this answer? Q sub 3 is on 75%. So it means 75% of the 11 students have heights less than or equal to 154 centimeters. In example number 3, given the scores in algebra tests were in N, S15, find the decile 3, decile 5, and decile 9. 
these are the following scores of 15 students. First, we need to identify the decile tree. So the formula, t of k class, it is equal to k times n plus 1 over 10. So the value of k that is equal to 3, replace it with 3. And then n that is 15 plus 1 over 10. So copy 3, 15 plus 1 is 16 over 10. 10. If we multiply 3 times 16, that is equal to 48 divided by 10. So 48 divided by 10 is 4.8. So it means 4.8. So as you can see, this is the median. So the median, that is 8. So it means 4.8. So this is the 4.8 is on the left side. So it means round up. So it means the value of the observation is on the PIP position. So the PIP position that is equal to 84. So it means decile 3 that is equal to 84. So how about the decile 5? So the decile 5 that is equal to decile 5 plus it is equal to the value of k that is 5 times 15 plus 1 over 10. 15 plus 1 is 16 over 10. 5 times 16, the answer is equal to 80 divided by 10. So it means decile 5 plus, it is equal to 8. So as you can see, the 8th position. So the 8th position is 87. So it means the decile 5, it is equal to 87. Or if you want, you can get the median. This is 15 students. The middle that is on the 8th position. So it means decile 5, it is equal to 87. You can use the formula for the Mendenhall and Sinich method, or you can get the median. So the median, that is 87, so it means decil 5, it is equal to 87. How about the decil 9? So if we replace the formula, the value of k, that is equal to 9. So decil, decil 9 class, it is equal to 9 times 15 plus 1 over 10. So 9, 15 plus 1 is 16 over 10. 9 times 16, that is 144 divided by 10. So 144 divided by 10, that is 14.4. It means the position 14.4, so this is the median. So 14.4 is on the right side, so it means um, round down. So it means the measures of position is on the 14. So the 14, that is 90. So it means decile 9, it is equal to 92. How we interpret the result? Decile 3, it is equal to 84. So decile 3, it is 30%. So it means 30% of the students got a score less than or equal to 84. How about the decile 5 that is equal to 87? So decile 5 that is in a percent that is 50%. 50% or half of the students got a score of 87 and below or half got a score. So how about the decile 9 that is equal to 92? So it means decile 9 that is 90%. So it means 90% of the students got a score greater than or equal to 92. How about example number 4? The scores of Miss World candidates from 7 judges were recorded as follows. So the question, find the 80th percentile or piece of 80 of the judges' scores. First, we need to arrange in ascending order. So we need to write first that is 8.45, 8.56, 8.67, 8.85, 9.13, 9.17, and then 9.20. So, as you can see, we have 7 judges and then 7 score of the judges. So, let us solve now the P sub 80. So, P sub K class, it is equal to K times N plus 1 over 100. Replace K by 80. So, this one, 80. And then the N, that is equal to 7 because we have 7 judges. So 7 plus 1 over 100. Copy 80. 7 plus 1 is 8. Copy 100. 
80 times 8, that is equal to 640 divided by 100. 640 divided by 100, that is 6.4. So, first, we need to identify the middle. So, the middle is on the fourth position. And then, 6.4. So, 6.4 is on the right side of the median. So, it means 6.4 round down. So, it means the piece of 80 class, it is equal to 6 position. So, the 6th position, that is 9.70. So, it means P sub 80, it is equal to 9.70. So, if we interpret the value P sub 80, so it means 80% of the Miss World candidates got a score greater than or equal to 9.70. How about if we identify the P sub 35 of the judges scores? So again, the formula, P sub K class, it is equal to K times N plus 1 over 100. So we need to replace the value of K by 35. So P sub 35 class, it is equal to 35 times the number of judges, that is 7 plus 1 over 100. P sub 35 class, it is equal to 35. 7 plus 1 is 8 over 100. If we multiply 35 times 8, the answer is equal to 280 divided by 100. 280 divided by 100, that is 2.8. So the middle is on the fourth position and 2.8 is on the left side, so it means round up. So 2.8, that is on the third position. So the third position is 8.67. So it means P sub 35, it is equal to 8.67. If we interpret P sub 35, that is 35%, so 35% of the judge's score is less than or equal to 8.67. Let us recap what you have learned about the measures of position, about quartile, decile, and percentile. The formula to identify the Q sub K class, it is equal to K times N plus 1 over 4. While the decile D sub K class, it is equal to K times N plus 1 over 10. While the percentile P sub K class, it is equal to K times N plus 1 over 100. Instruction, solve the following and interpret the results. Provide your answers in the comment section. Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much!